Hello everybody. Today's point of discussion is human eye, its structure and the function of different parts along with the visual pathway. We can say human eye at a glance. Regarding the contents, we have to know structure and the function of the human eye, visual pathway, mechanism of vision, some references for your further study and some questions. So, regarding the uh, introduction, the visual perception is the ability to interpret the surrounding environment using light in the visible spectrum reflected by the objects. And this, uh, whatever we have seen in our environment, that can only be seen with the help of the eye. Regarding the structure and the function of different parts of the human eye, first of all, this is the structure which is very easy to draw for you people. So, the sclera, this is sclera. It is the outermost layer that forms the eyeball and it maintains the shape of the eye and the movements of the eye. Next comes the choroid layer. So, this is the choroid layer. It is the middle layer. It contains different blood vessels. Yes, many blood vessels. Next comes the retina which is the most important one. It contains the photoreceptors that means uh, those receptors of the eye known as rods and cones which receives the light from the environment that convert the light rays into the electrical impulses. Next comes the vitreous chamber. This is the vitreous chamber which is totally filled by the fluid called the vitreous humor that gives eye its shape. Next comes the fovea centralis. You can see here a small bulge. It is called fovea centralis. It is the center of the retina, at the center of the retina contains most of the cone cells. Then this is the blind spot. It is a point where no vision is possible due to the absence of the photoreceptors or the sensory nerves. And this is the optical nerve or optic nerve which transmit the electrical impulses from the retina to the brain. So, these are the few parts of human eye and their function. So, the rest of the parts are conjunctiva. You can see this is the conjunctiva. It is a membrane inside the eyelid attached to the sclera. Okay, sclera and this is conjunctiva. Next comes the cornea. It is the transparent surface covering iris and the pupil. Through this light enters into the eye. So, this is cornea. Next, this is the aqueous chamber which is filled with the aqueous humor fluid. And it maintains the shape of the cornea, provides the nutrients to the eye and involves in the waste management also. Next comes the ciliary body. It is a band of muscle that helps in the changing of the shape while focusing. Ciliary muscles you can see in both sides. Then lens. The another most important part, this is lens. It is a crystalline structure that focus light onto the retina. Then iris, this one, it controls the diameter of the pupil. Next comes the pupil. It changes the size and the amount of the light changes. So, it changes itself with the amount of the light. So, these all are the structures and the functions of the human eye. Next comes the visual pathway. It is another very easy picture for you people to draw and the flow chart is also given. From retina, the light impulse enters the optic nerve from there to optic chiasma. So, this is the optic chiasma. From there to the optic tract, this is the optic tract. From there to the lateral geniculate body. So, this oval shaped structure, lateral geniculate body. From there, geniculostriate tract. So, this is the tract and let us the optic radiation to visual sensory area that is 17, 18 and 19 visual cortex. Regarding the mechanism of vision, there are three orders of neurons are involved. The first order neuron, then comes the bipolar cells which constitute the second order neuron. From the bipolar cells, the impulse enters into the ganglion cells which constitute the third order neuron. From the ganglia cells, it enters into the optic nerve. From the optic nerve, it, it goes to the cerebral cortex and the upright image is formed with perception of the vision 
occurred. So these are few references. These are the questions by which you can test yourself. So thank you very much for listening uh, to this small, small lecture. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to get the notification of daily uploaded new educational videos in this channel. So long. Bye-bye.